speed plays a bigger factor in the NBA than just getting up and down the court. It's the edge that can make the difference when the clock is winding down. It is what makes the explosive athleticism that we see in the NBA, and the following are the fastest players in BNBA history. First off, at 6'6 and 216 pounds, Michael Jordan portrayed the image of an outstanding shooting guard, near perfect with his exceptionally gifted leaping ability. Jordan also possessed the often overlooked ability of speed. His speed is one of the largest contributions to his famed ability to make those high leaps, which is measured at an unbelievable 48-inch vertical. To put it in perspective, LeBron James who is also known for his ascending dunk, checks in at 8 inches less than Jordan which makes it 40 inches. Much of the ability to leap has much to do with the player's capability to not only jump, but to build enough momentum through running to allow them to jump. This is why all free throw line dunks start with a sprint from the other side of the court. By playing college ball at the University of North Carolina, Jordan was clocking in at 4.3 seconds for a 40-yard dash. To put that into perspective, Jordan easily competes with many of the NFL's fastest players, who start at a speed of 4.3 seconds in a dash and go as low as 4.24 seconds. There's nothing more telling of this fact than when Jordan's fast breaks are viewed. Wildly considered to be not only the NBA's premier leaper, but also the league's fastest player for his time, even going as far as easily overtaking point guards who are not only shorter, but lighter by 20 to 40 pounds depending on the matchup. Next up we have John Wall who has gone through some rough patches recently with injuries, the point guard has displayed some serious speed over the years. While it is interesting to compare the top speeds of the league's fastest players, the fact of the matter is that they're never running at those speeds in the game. The speed just gives the analysts and scouts an idea of the potential speed of a player while on the court. Typical average speeds in the league are actually quite low. Even the fastest players aren't guaranteed to unleash their speed at all point in the game. Even with the low league averages, John Wall seems to be an exception. He has recorded an impressive average offensive speed of 4.4 miles per hour which has been his best during the 2013-2014 season. At the NBA combined where the drafts have their sprint speeds measured at a distance of 3 fourth of the court, Wall boasted an impressive 3.14 second sprint. To give you a comparison, Westbrook had clocked in at 3.08 seconds during his combine. Despite this, Wall has actually spoken about his speed. With great confidence even going far as saying that he is without a doubt, the fastest man in the league. When asked about who will win in a 40 yards dash race, between him and Westbrook, Wall said that I'll win. It think it'd be close, very close. He's explosive. It think I'm going fast straight, he is quick and explosive. Next at 6'3 and 200 pounds, Russell Westbrook's perfect mix of muscle mass and long legs currently makes him the league's fastest player. Westbrook is clocked in at a top speed of just under 22 miles per hour. When it comes down to running from baseline to baseline, Westbrook's runs it in 3.3 seconds, which is half a second faster than the average NBA player. Consistent with what has been measured, the league's fastest players also tend to be the league's biggest leapers and Westbrook is no exception in this regard. Ready with a dunk factor of 6, this number indicates that Westbrook dunks with the same consistency as an NBA player who is 6'9", while Westbrook is only 6'3". That does not come as a surprise considering Westbrook clocks in with over 350 dunks. And out of these total career dunks, most if not all have shown Westbrook springing directly vertically from the ground as he releases the ball at the apex of his dunk. While that may sound like the description of a dunk, it's not common that players have the know-how of how to dunk with the perfect form as Westbrook has shown. It's likely that his high number of career dunks stems from the confidence he's gained from mastering this perfect form. His agility has also afforded him a max vertical measurement of 36.4 inches off the ground making for some impressive airtime for the 6'3 point guard. Although his career has been plagued with unfortunate injuries, it's hard to say if NBA fans have really ever seen Derrick Rose in his prime. However, what can be said is that despite all his injuries, Rose has impressively displayed some real speed when he is on the court. 
Rose's speed is impressive for many of the same reasons Russell Westbrook's speed is. For one, both players aren't just limited to a straight line speed. Instead they display the ability to run at angles without losing momentum. This ability also gives him the ridiculous vertical incline that has been measured at 42 inches. At 6'3", his 42-inch vertical is close to Jordan's 48-inch vertical. Rose also deserves immense credit considering his vertical was not 42 inches coming into the league. In fact it was after he had rehabbed his torn ACL in 2013 that he came in with a higher vertical. While debates have commonly compared Westbrook to Wall, it wouldn't be a far-fetched argument to make that the better comparison would be between Westbrook and Derrick Rose. His 190 pounds frame feature much of the athleticism that Westbrook has which has played a role in all aspects of his game, aside from speed. Next up, at 6 foot and just 175 pounds, Chris Paul's extremely light frame for an NBA player has given him an edge over most when it comes down to speed. From fast break attempts to drive in the hoops, Paul's speed has played an integral role in his efficiency as a point guard. The most important part of Paul's speed actually has nothing to with this raw speed but rather his strategy. Paul is one of the league's greatest offensive point guards because he knows when to change gears and speed. The ability may sound simple and maybe it is, but it's a skill that nearly throws of defenders every time. Having just a fast and slow speed is easy for a defender to predict. However, watching Paul's game as he cuts and dribbles with the balls are all often occurring at random speeds. This followed with hesitations and quick jerk movements with his feet have been the death sentence for all the defenders who have had their ankles broken at the hands of Chris Paul. Next up, carrying a bulky 6'8", 250 pounds frame, LeBron James is a whole lot more than just a player with a big body. In fact, LeBron is one of the league's most agile players. In a series of tests done by ESPN Sports Science, it was found that while the average NBA player takes 13, strides to run the distance of the court, LeBron only needs 9. The difference of just 4 steps makes a difference of seconds to the rim when it comes down to a fast break attempt, which likely explains why LeBron tends to be alone during those attempts. With a 40 yards dash time of 4.4 seconds, LeBron is certainly slower than Jordan, but with a 2 inch difference along with a 40 pounds heavier frame, the number is impressive close to Jordan's time of 4.3 seconds. In fact, his speed is so impressive for his size that when matched with NFL players, LeBron makes the ideal tight end with an obvious height advantage over the average football defensive end. Along with the 40-inch vertical leap, it's safe to say LeBron has long had a successful career waiting for him in the NFL. It's likely much of the speed he enjoys today was the result of training drills he had taken part in during high school when he was still debating between going to the NFL or the NBA. By the time he moved on to the NBA, LeBron brought with him the hybrid body of a football wide receiver along with the height of a forward basketball player. This in turn gave LeBron speed that's similarly to Joran's rivals with most of the league's prime point guards. Further testing showed that LeBron ran up to 20 miles per hour, which had been the same recorded speed for Chris Paul who was 8 inches shorter and weighed 75 pounds lighter than LeBron. LeBron's speed isn't just limited to how fast he can run, LeBron also has the ability to throw the ball at 40 miles per hour and have it reach its target 12 yards away, faster than Tom Brady can. And of course while LeBron isn't chucking the ball at 40 miles per hour. On game night, it just shows the speed he can apply to the ball to get him that assist. If you've enjoyed the video, then be sure to share your thoughts in the comments section and subscribe for more similar content.